Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to another pickup video. Today's video is going to be week 11 pickups from Akira and Supreme. As you guys know, I did the preview video yesterday or Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah, I did the preview video, but I did not include any of the lookbook items that were dropping. At the time, the list wasn't out and I didn't know what it was. So I will include those items in the pickup video. And you guys can see everything that we grabbed. Before we get started, make sure you guys go check out Prime Population. If you guys haven't already there are some other instagrams right here that you guys can find us on the roy destroy my personal miss taja that is alexandra's personal and john renata that is rami's personal go check all those out you guys can see what we're doing with the studio and uh, as we try to pick it up here you guys can follow along i hope you guys got everything you wanted as i said in the preview video i am not 100 familiar with akira i have not seen the movie a million times i have not seen the anime a million times so as far as me showing you guys these products this is just me showing you guys what the products look like, how they feel, how they seem in hand, and what they look like up close and personal. I am not an expert on any of these scenes or any of these things from the actual anime, so please just spare me some trouble uh, as we go through it. Alright, so let's get started at the top like we always do, and then we will work our way down. First thing that we'll start with is this sideline parka right here, or actually I think it's a stadium parka, my bad. I tried to get my hands on multiple of these jackets, different colors ways to show you guys. I ended up with one which is a black one right here. So we will just go over this one and then uh, keep it pushing. Dude, this is a black one. As you guys can see on the front, it does have a small embroidered box logo, like a small box on the chest area. And then these have buttons and a zipper that go all the way down. This is a parka, so it is longer than normal jacket. I did put this on and it is a nice, very comfortable jacket for a rainy day or a colder day. This thing is very sick. Dude, starting at the collars and going all the way down to your wrist is this like little metallic stripe right here it's on both sides I'm not sure if this is 3m or glow in the dark or if it's just a metallic color but it does add a little nice accent to the jacket and then on the back is where you get all your branding dude this is a fat box logo on the back right here this is like an embroidered like a stitched in patch almost all the letters are cut and sewn extremely large across the back of the jacket it is a very nice jacket it is very very comfortable dude so I wish like I said that I got a white one to show you guys I ended up with the black one if you guys copped it, um, it does fit like a little large and a little bigger due to the fact that it is a parka. It's longer. It's more puffier. If you copped it, be excited for it because it is a very sick jacket. Let's move on to these Hanes garments right here. There was boxers and tees. I think they kind of jewed us on the boxers and tees. They were 40 bucks for the tees for two tees and 40 bucks for the boxers for two boxers, which is whatever. I understand there's a print on it, but it still is Hanes shit. These are the boxers right here. None of these are my size. So I'm not gonna open these. I'm gonna save these for a later date. Here's two pairs of boxers I got and then I got one pair of tees, which is not my size either. I wanted to rip them open, look at them a little more, but I have to wait till the ones online come to do that. But you just got a real tree print all over it. These are sick. A lot of people were waiting for these all season. These are still online and these are still in all the stores. So if you missed them, go online. We'll continue with the lookbook stuff with these Digi Camo beanies right here. I did get a couple of these, but I got them all in tan. So I will just show you guys one. The tan one had a red box logo on it, which is super sick. The long sleeve tees that dropped and the beanies go well together. I like the digi camo. I like the plain colors that they did as well on the long sleeves, which we will get into. But damn, dude, this beanie is definitely sick, dude. Small box on the front, and then you got digi camo print all over it. This is a $32 beanie, just a regular beanie. Here were the mesh hats that dropped, which were whatever, to be honest. I don't really like when they do rib stop or mesh or nylon or like it just feels like the material is cheaper not saying that it is it just gives it like a more cheap vibe when I'm feeling it and looking at it but the hats are sick the colors were dope the olive on olive is sick and then of course I always have to get the black on black uh, I just prefer like the canvas the chino twill camp hats the cotton ones over like the weird material hats I got two more lookbook items right here which is uh, these digi camo long sleeves not a lot of people were stoked on these but I thought that they were sick I wanted to grab both of them and I grabbed a third one online which is a yellow one here is the digi camo in pink and this is just a full long sleeve pocket tee dude as you guys can see the print is all over the tee on your breast area you got a pocket and then it has a little supreme tag on it the pink camo is very very cool and then of course the tan camo is sick as well to go along with the beanie which is right here dude these are long sleeve pocket tees they are not small box tees which I kind of wish that they were they just kept it with the pocket but you do have a supreme tag on the side right 
right there. And then this one matches the beanie that I just showed you guys. I think both of those digi camo long sleeves are fairly sick, dude. I grabbed a yellow one online. I can't wait to see what that one looks like. We will get started with this Akira stuff and then uh, you guys can be on your way, dude. Here was the Akira hat that dropped, which is a syringe hat. Me personally, this is my favorite design that they did, my favorite graphic. It has like somebody shooting up somebody else with a little needle. In the lookbook, I couldn't tell, but on the needle, it actually says Supreme. I will show you guys on the deck and you guys can get a better glimpse of that. Here's the back of the hat. It is all embroidered with a snap enclosure and these were $48. Let's get into this ashtray right here or key tray or tray, whatever you want to call it. This thing is sick, dude. It is fairly large. Here's my forearm right here. So it's like the size of my forearm. I'm glad it's not just some tiny little tray, dude, but this thing is definitely sick and this is exactly what it looks like, dude. It's the same graphic on a hoodie, tee, hat, all that stuff and they put it on the ashtray and then on the back is where you have all your tagging and branding and all of that good stuff. Let me see. If you guys can see right there, it says Supreme on the needle. There was a ceramic play online. You were able to get four of these, which I didn't know. I wish I knew that. I tried to get four of them in store. They didn't let me do it, but here is the ceramic plate right here. It says they're just like candy. This is also a graphic that is on multiple other things this week, and this is just a straight dinner plate, dude. You put this in your cupboard, pull it out, put your mashed potatoes and corn on it, and then you can have a feast, dude, but dope little plate. These were 68 bucks, like pretty much 75 bucks after tax, which is dope. It's a different accessory. It's something different that they don't normally do. Let's skim through these tees so you guys can see what these look like. I'm gonna put a different color for each tee. This is the arm tee, which is one of the most popular tees. I think because this dude is wearing a box logo, I think it's just a more popular graphic this week. This one's in black right here. I thought this one looked sick in black. This is an all screen printed patch right here, and there is nothing on the back. Pretty basic. Here's another one right here, which is the Akira long sleeve tee. I guess this is like the Neo Tokyo tee, which this is one of my favorite tees. Look at this graphic on the front right here. It has a Supreme and Akira on the front of the tee, which is super sick. They don't have that on anything else that they drop. And then on the back, it has the Neo Tokyo design on it. I think this long sleeve looks sick in white. That is why I'm showing it to you guys. The black and red coming off the white is sick. And then you have a fat graphic on the back as well. Here is a lime green tee that they dropped. The lime colors didn't do too well. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. This is my personal favorite tee. You have Supreme on the front right there, just screen printed. And then on the back, you have three of the same design, which is the syringe graphic, dude. I think it's sick how they repeated the graphic. It does look cool. My favorite one of the syringe tee is the white one. That's probably the one that I'm gonna keep for myself. Uh, but this is a dope little t-shirt. You got screen printing on the front and screen printing on the back as well. Two more tees. This one right here is the pill tee, which is another popular tee. You have the same font, Supreme screen printed on the front of the tee. And then on the back, you have the same graphic that was on the plate. Dude's taking the pill. It tastes just like candy. That is another graphic on a t-shirt. And then the last tee that we have is the Yamagata tee right here, which this lady or person or whoever it is on the ground is wearing a box logo as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's just a little speech bubble. It says Yamagata. And then there is nothing on the back, dude. So those were all the colors except slate. I don't think I included a slate one. My bad. I got two hoodies for you guys right here as well. This one is the patches hoodie, which it has multiple graphics on it. I think there's a graphic on the front and a graphic on the back. We will take a better look at it right now, dude. So I thought that this was all screen printed. My bad. This is actually a sewn on patch on the front. I don't know if you guys can see or tell, but this is actually a sewn on patch. This is like the candy patch on the front of the hoodie. And then on the back, it has the Neo Tokyo. This is a full stitched on patch, dude. So both of these are patches. It was $178, which I'm happy that there is at least some sewn on patches. And then on the hood, just like the MJ hoodies and other hoodies that Supreme dropped, they just put an embroidered Supreme across the hood right there. So that was a XL and Cardinal. And then I have a black large right here of the other hoodie, which was the arm hoodie, I believe. This one does not have a patch. This is just all screen printed on the front right here. Same graphic that's on the T and on multiple other things is blasted on the hoodie. All screen printed $178, which is expensive for a hoodie. To close out the Akira stuff, the best part of the collaboration, in my opinion, is the decks, dude. We have both of them right here, so let's check them out. This is the syringe deck, which in store, this deck sold out first before the box logo 
deck or the Neo Tokyo or whatever you want to call it. This is where I realized what the needle says. The girl is injecting the dude with it. I think that is super sick. This is my favorite deck out of the set. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep either of them just because I'm not a huge fan of Akira, but I do think that the decks are sick. The syringe deck was my favorite one for sure. I feel like you just get more graphic. I don't know. I just like it better. This is everybody's personal favorite right here, which is the Neo Tokyo deck right here, dude. Up close in this graphic, I guess this is supposed to be Tokyo or supposed to be some kind of city. And then it looks like there's some kind of bomb going off in the middle and like destructing the city supreme across the whole deck. Both of the decks are sick and I was happy that I was able to get my hands on both of them. Yeah, dude, that's basically it. I don't think there's anything else. So hopefully you guys got to see a little bit better what the stuff looks like, what the colors look like, what the graphics look like. That was the point of this video, dude. So thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end, please like the video, subscribe, all of that good shit. I do have a video planned for you guys tomorrow. You guys can check us out on Instagram right here. Make sure you guys check out Preem Population. Somebody already won the Tokyo deck for 10 bucks last night. Shout out to the homie Little Socks. Make sure you guys go check that out. Leroy Destroy, my personal. Miss Taja, John Renata, see what we're doing across the board with the studio and all of that good stuff. And uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, peace. Thanks for watching. Out this motherfucker.